are again back on the road school number two Floyd County School of Innovation and we're back with on the road with Carla and I'm with Todd Prater hey Todd nice to meet you what grade are you in Todd 12th grade all right guys he is a 12th grader uh, what are your plans after high school I want to go to EKU and then join the KSP I'll, Oh, big Kentucky State Policer, huh? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All right, good deal. So um, we are standing here at Floyd County School of Innovation. So tell me a little bit about this school. What's different about it? It provides an opportunity for students from all across the county. It's not just one school you're defined to. It's students from every school collectively coming together to learn together, grow together. You get hands-on opportunities that you don't get anywhere else in Floyd County. Okay, I like that. So you get a lot of project-based learning opportunities. Mm -hmm. All right, so with that said, what is special about being here? What's special about being here is you have to apply and you're selected. And there's a handful of us that are selected from each school to be here. We get to learn through our own pathways, some being law enforcement, agriculture, engineering. And we get to be passionate about what we want to learn about. He used the word passion, which is my favorite. I am very passionate about education. So um, what is your favorite class here? My criminal justice classes. Okay, and tell me why. Because I want to be in law enforcement. It just, my teacher always motivates me to do the best I can. He inspires me to learn every day. I like that. A lot of inspiration. Well, thank you for being on the road with Carla. You're welcome. And we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm with... Kevin Howard. And Kevin, what year are you? I'm a 12th grader. Another senior, guys. What are you going to do after high school? I'm going to go to the UK College of Engineering and try to get the Pigman Scholarship. Whoa, that is amazing. And I believe you could do it. So you like engineering, obviously. Oh, absolutely. I love engineering. So would you say that's your favorite class? Yeah, I love the hands-on and the competitive, being competitive that they offer up here. That's great. So uh, what what's special then, um, in your opinion, what's special being here at Floyd County School of Innovation? Just the amount of technology we have access to. They have a lot of expensive stuff that a lot of the high schools other than FCSI does not, like a $15,000 milling machine and $5,000 glow forges allowed for the engineering pathways. See, now listen, that is top notch right there. Um, so it, what is a tradition here that you think, um, in Floyd County in general, a tradition here that you think is something special Ooh. Just Floyd County in general, I'd have to go with the uh, TSA that we do up here. Explain that. Pretty much it is a uh, student organization where we go and compete at state level to just see if we can win, to be honest. And FCSI is really heavy into it, and they can offer a lot of scholarships because of the guy that is over it. Because he actually has his name on the UK College of Engineering. Oh, wow. So that's a, 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 te a technology, um, is that what that is about technology, mm -hmm. the TSA? All right, because I'm not very familiar with it. Yeah, I want to say it stands for the Technology Student Asso Association or right. something. That, that probably sounds about right. <laughs> well, you know what? Thank you for being on the road with Carla. <laughs> Thank you for having me. And we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm with... Michael Funky. Hey, Michael. Thank you for being on the show. So what do you do here at Floyd County? I'm a school bus driver. Guys, we have a school bus driver, which is, you know what? That's an unsung hero right here. So tell me what is special about driving a bus here at Floyd County Schools. Uh, it's the kids, being able to give back to the community and uh, get people safely to and from school. I love my job. He loves his job, guys. Yeah. Bus drivers, you hear that? He loves his job. So with that said, um, how long have you been doing this? I think I got my CDL in March, and I started driving a couple days after that. Yeah, but okay. I went into training in February here. So. Okay, awesome. So th I'm sure they hope to keep you. Yeah, I'll be here uh, for a long time. And, and kudos to you <laughs> for getting our kids to and from safely. Yeah, I love my job. I'll keep it up. All right. For sure. Thank you for being on the road with Carla. Absolutely. Way 
And we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm with Elizabeth Goodman. Elizabeth, what year are you, Elizabeth? I am a senior. All right, she's a senior. And who is this? Oh, oh, yep. So we're actually in what's called the hospital room. Hospital room at Floyd County School of Innovation. So, um, as a senior, what do you plan to do after high school? So, I plan on attending EKU the next fall to become an occupational therapist. All right, occupational therapist. So, currently, you're in what class? Katie Bailey's Healthcare Pathway. Healthcare Pathway. And um, we were just recently doing what? Uh, I I did some video there. Uh, You were doing CPR on an infant. Is that correct? Yes. So, um, with that said, the Healthcare Pathway will help you in your occupational um, pathway as well. So, what is special about Floyd County School of Innovation? So, it's just been recent that it's opened up. And I know being in basic school every single day, writing from a textbook, listening, it can you can only do so much of it. So actually being able to experience situations and lessons hands-on is so beneficial for children. So I would definitely recommend to any child when you reach freshman year, come here. It is worth it. Being able to do CPR hands-on. You can learn it instead of just being told, this is what you do. You have to do something hands-on to truly learn how to do something. So you do a lot of project-based learning here, a lot of hands-on. So what is your favorite class here? Definitely emergency procedures with Katie Bailey. Awesome. Um, Why is that? What, What makes it special, that class? She's not just your teacher. She's your friend. She knows how to interact with each student based on how they love to learn. She does note taking as talking about CPR, hands-on, videos, music. So she knows how to engage each child for different learning styles that they enjoy. And I liked how she used the word engagement. You know what? Thank you for being on the road with Carla. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm with... Katie Bailey, healthcare sciences teacher here at FCSI. Healthcare. So she's the one that helps this guy here. (laughs) I said, we'll call him Fred. Um, So... Tell me what is special about Floyd County School of Innovation. I couldn't just pick one thing. Um, So many numerous things. We do so many hands-on activities, real-world experiences for these kids. When they get out in that work field, they are going to be prepared. Um, I love the fact that we are a multi-county school, not multi-county, but multi-school school. we have different three different actual high schools that come here so kids are meeting kids that they wouldn't normally have got to meet on a day-to-day basis uh friendships are formed um just so many different things to mention and while i was in her classroom they were doing cpr on infants which is um it's actually a good thing to know even at at their age because you never know when something may happen at a ball game or wherever that is so that's uh, kudos to you i like how you said it's hands-on um so how long have you been doing this this will be my fourth year actually in the education. I'm a 20 plus year registered nurse. So I uh, had a little bit of a change of career, but now I get to teach what I love. So um, it's absolutely the best of both worlds. I absolutely love what I do. That is awesome. Thank you for being on the road with Carla. Thank you. Thank you. So and we're back with On the Road with Carla, and I'm with Landon Hall. Hey, Landon, thank you for being on the show. So what do you do here at Floyd County School of Innovation? I am the law and public safety teacher here at FCSI. Uh, this is my third year here. So. All right, awesome. So are you in law, in, in, in law enforcement yourself? I was for 15 years. 15 uh, years. 15 years, awesome. and then when this job came up, and I, I jumped ship and come over here. Yeah. So. Well, kudos to you for thank that. You. So what's special about the Floyd County School of Innovation? I, I, I like the aspect of us getting to be hands-on with the kids. I feel that... You know, I, I was a school resource officer prior to taking this job, and I, I just noticed that that students kind of thrived when they got to do store stuff more hands-on. So we here at FCSI were real big on that, and I think it's it shows how successful that we are because we do try things that's out of the box and hands-on, and we try to get them to be in the roles of the jobs that they want. So. I, and I like I like what you said, being in the role of the jobs they want. So it's definitely real world experience. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for being on the road with Carl. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a good day.
How are you? I'm good. How are you? What are you What are you doing? We're cleaning the columns out of the container. Okay, cleaning the columns. Are you getting ready to plant something in those? Oh yeah. What are you planting? Do you know yet? I think we're still gonna go with our lettuce, and it might be some kale. Okay, lettuce and kale. Do you guys sell this? Yes. All right. Good deal. What's your name? Alexis. Alexis, what year are you? I'm a senior. Senior. What are you going to do after high school? I, I want to be a teacher. Oh, yes, guys. Future <laughs> educator. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I can smell the greens <laughs> up in here. Yeah. So what we got? What we got? Right now, we got some lettuce growing. All right. This is all lettuce. So what are you doing today? Well, we're painting this snow plow um, for the school. We're, it's mainly finished, but we're just kind of cleaning it up. Cleaning it up, and you got some, I'm gonna go down here, if I can get down there. Oh, is that snowman? Yeah, that's gonna oh, be cool. an igloo, a snowman, and a penguin. All right, awesome. And, and this is gonna go on an actual truck? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. How cool is that, that you're gonna have an uh, art yeah. That's roaming around Floyd County. I know, it's really cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> we were just talking to you about the artwork here that you're doing on the plow, but what is your career pathway here at Floyd County School of Innovation? I'm in the engineering pathway, and I really love it because I get to, like, you. I have creative freedom on a lot of projects, um, and it's helped me kind of figure out what I want to be in the future. That's awesome. And I forgot, what's your name? Emma Bailey. And what, what year are you? I'm a senior. Senior. So what are you going to do after high school uh, i'm planning on going to eku and majoring in digital media arts um i'm really excited awesome that is so good so what's special about being here at floyd county school of innovation i've made so many friends um and we really connect in our pathways like i've learned so much about careers that i wouldn't have uh, at my home high school and it's just really helped me grow as a person all right thank you for being on the road with carla mm -hmm.